76 years ago today, it lay at the bottom of Pearl Harbor as part of the sunken USS Utah. Today, that ship's bell is back on display at the U of U campus. The Utah was one of the first ships sunk during the attack on Pearl Harbor. 64 sailors aboard died. More than 400 survived. The bell was salvaged along with many other items and artifacts from the ship. I don't really know exactly the circumstances which this was salvaged, but we're pretty sure it was during the salvage efforts when they were trying to right the ship. And they actually righted several of the other battleships. Um, but just to know that this was something that was there, I mean, that really adds a whole layer of significance to it. Carl Nauer is a curator with the U.S. Naval History and Heritage Command in Virginia. He and his colleagues have been working to restore the bell while at the same time trying to preserve its character. Even the lettering on the front has tool marks from the, the manufacturers at the foundry. I mean, that history going back so far, um, you know, sometimes we... we like to encourage people to treat objects very well and wear gloves and things so that they don't get damaged. But sometimes you see a fingerprint on an object and you know that came from its service life. Um, and, it, you know, in a way, even though this doesn't have fingerprints, it has things like finger. I mean, the barnacles just kind of that give you that sense of its history. You can see that magnificent bell right now on the KSL News Radio app, sponsored by Any Hour Services. The bell has been on display outside the Naval Sciences Building on the campus of the University of Utah. For the past several decades, it spent a short time last year at the U.S. Navy's Senior Enlisted Academy in Rhode Island before undergoing this restoration. Now the bell is on display at the U, and Nauer says he hopes the now fragile bell won't be rung again. Back in the 80s, a sailor actually used a wrench to ring the bell during a ceremony. They did a ceremony um, commemorating, and uh, there was a, a crew member that had saved the dogging wrench that he apparently had used from the inside of the hull because he was trapped, so it's a signal for rescue. So he had that with him still, and uh, apparently uh, uh, another service member used that. The USS Utah served during World War I during the attack on Pearl Harbor. A sailor aboard the ship earned the Medal of Honor for helping others escape and for securing the ship's boilers before it went down. Chief water tender Pete Tomich was among those who died. KSL News Time 349. You've been listening to the in depth.